Hello everyone, I am Chandra Prakash Joshi and we are doing this last video discussing the important questions for RBI grade B. You can download the PDF of these questions. The link is given in the description. In this video, we are discussing some of the questions which has been asked last year 2018 and 2019. It will give you an understanding what kind of questions you are going to face. Now you have come very close to exam. Don't forget to subscribe the channel, press the bell icon for regular updates. I know you are going to get success by regular, regular studies with the excellent content that you get here at exam B. This is the question I asked. What is the minimum leverage ratio as per the Basel 3 norm? Answer here is 3% and leverage ratio means capital as a percentage of the total exposure of the bank. So as per the Basel, it is 3% but RBI has made 3.5 for banks here. Basel Committee on Banking Supervision introduced this leverage ratio in 2010 and higher the tier 1 leverage ratio, higher the likelihood of the bank with the standing the negative shocks of the balance sheet because higher leverage ratio means there is more capital against the exposure. So RBI made it 3.5 for all banks and 4% for domestic SIB systematically important banks must know the names also I have discussed earlier OCR is often used in banking this question had been asked in 2018 here you have to know such important term it's simple one actually optical character recognition technology to scan any document any PDF file or any page which converts that text into a soft copy maybe word or maybe another another copy where you can edit it optical character recognition any such technology you shall know a type of communication that does not have definite pattern or direction but there is a, at every level without anyone controlling it so what is this type of communication it is very very popular in every every organization question was again asked in 2018 it is grapevine so grapevine is a form of informal communication you know, people chit chat at lunch table during the tea or just walking here and there in the office they develop this kind of network so like it's a grape wine network no, which is very unstructured moving from here to there so this is called grape wine communication increasing interconnectedness of global market is known as this question i made based on a similar question asked in 2018 exam answer to this for you because you have to choose one of the option from the given here the best option which will be economic globalization cultural globalization means when two cultures are are mixing technological globalization we are also using facebook or social media or google political globalization uh, like trump is getting uh, in india and also canvassing about about campaign which is affecting the global audience not that he has voters here and when Modi goes to US, there is Howdy Modi. So these are like political globalization, ecological globalization. All such terms have been covered in our answer explanation. This is the sheet I have taken from the answer explanations. You have to read. I will highly recommend you if you have not gone through previous year papers, please go to the website. These are freely available. Previous year paper of 2018 and 19 are there. Government impose watch to raise revenue. Protect domestic industries or exert political leverage over another country understand the question in totality and you have to select one from there because sometimes some of the things like to raise revenue taxes are also there but this question is not asking about taxes it is asked in 2018 correct answer is tariff similar question no? so tariff is the idea of having some duties in import to protect your domestic industries because the cost of production in the domestic companies may be higher and there is there is cheaper goods coming from abroad say for example chinese goods manufactured at very low price are coming and affecting indian toy industry so india can have higher tariffs for import of the plastic toys from china that is called tariff which inflation theory says oligopolist can increase the price of any level if the demand does not rise even if the demand does not rise this hike in price level occurs due to the increase in wages in the oligopolistic industry so basically oligopolist can increase the price and such inflation theories are important because rbi manages inflation this answer here is market power theory 
and a similar question which has been asked in 2018 exam is this here is structural theory of inflation so this theory of inflation you have to study and this is i have taken a screenshot from the mock test explanation go to the previous year papers in i exam bhi website and you can find all such explanation because from these explanations more questions can be framed i keep on repeating it is very very important to cover what is important for the exam some people are born to lead this is which theory of leadership born to lead everybody may not be a leader this is called great man theory this theory says there are people who definitely possess high level of the ambition with a clear vision precisely where they want to go in their life these leaders are cited as naturally great leaders born with a set of personal qualities that make them effective leader and see this type of question asked in 2018 exam rbi grade b comprehensive exclusive course in addition to the entire coverage of the syllabus which is regularly getting updated having videos notes questions and live classes with the expert including complete coverage for descriptive you get additional thing like personalized study plan exclusive mock test one on one sessions with the faculty members and interview preparation classes regular guidance and mentorship by the experts who have cleared several competitive exams who have been teaching at prestigious institutions thousands of the students taught by them are working in various top level organizations so you get an opportunity here to know more contact at 9205524028 last chance to avail this offer bfs decided that idbi bank be taken out of the pca framework which of the following are parameters for evaluating whether a bank is to be brought under the prompt corrective action pca framework pca is very very important thing and our idbi is bank is out of that crar net npa and leverage ratio are part of the pca framework not nsfr pca you shall know in detail Recently the environment ministry released management effectiveness solution for 146 national park and wildlife sanctuaries in the country which of the following is are correct about the difference between wildlife sanctuary and the national park phase 1 we ask you to remember the important wildlife sanctuary and national park but you have to know more about it here in phase 2 everywhere you have to go deeper in your studies what are the differences select your answer human activities are allowed in wildlife sanctuaries but not in national park wildlife sanctuaries have no fixed boundary wildlife sanctuaries have more varieties of animals while national park have limited variety wildlife sanctuary generally open to the public while national park is generally not c prima facie is not looking good to me because this is not not the way and there are differences we have covered this in the notes i have taken from the mock test so you can go to the exam b and attempt the mock test understand the important differences a self corrective action for regional rural bank similar to pca framework we just have a question on that scheduled commercial bank was introduced in 9, 2018 so who introduced a self corrective action for rrb you have these options easy to guess even if you don't know the answer so you know it will not be sebi it will not be ird or ministry of finance you have to trick one from the two take that chance in the exam very important tip i am telling you option elimination nabard introduced this for rrbs and this framework is aimed at enabling rrbs that fail to meet the potential requirement related to net non performing assets and roa return on assets to take self corrective action in which stage of five stage of the group development by bruce tuckman conflict and competition are at its greatest so first you have to know these five stages actually five stages are written here forming storming norming performing and adjoining in the same sequence so when a new group starts first there are some group formation and then there are conflict see there are conflict and competition so that is the storming stage then group comes to making some norms for the group and on that it performs once the task is done by the group the group adjourns understand this forming storming norming stage 
interpersonal relations are developed between the group members performing hard work leads without friction here the group performs and once the work is done it adjourns now this is the numerical in simple one debt equity ratio of a to z private limited is 2 if the capital employed in the company is 150k and the total and the total assets are 400k what is the equity multiplier for the company equity multiplier is total assets divided by total equity it tells you how many times assets are over equity here you have to understand what is the equity here so for solving this you know that the given capital employed is 150k 150000 which is equal to the total equity plus total debt so you know that debt equity ratio is 2 means this 150 has two component of debt and one component of equity therefore equity is 50000 equity is 50000 and you know now what is the total asset the total asset base is 4 lakh divided by 50000 is the answer here high debt equity ratio means there is more leveraging for the company so here the equity is multiplied eight times because the asset size is eight times of the equity here government introduced production linked scheme incentives pli scheme to increase the country's production by usd 520 billion in the next 5 years which of the following is the main aim of the pli scheme so here you can see the rest of the options right again the option elimination method will it be focusing only on fisheries or agriculture rural finance agriculture export boosting domestic manufacturing and export it comes out to be like a clear winner even if i have not read about pli scheme i'm telling you when it comes to like increasing the country's production by 520 billion it will be this option which will work deen dayal antodya yojana day nrlm got this name in which year earlier the name was ajivika nrlm it was launched like this in 2011 but in 2015 after the bjp government headed by mr modi came into power it has been renamed as deen dayal antodya yojana de nrlm the national nutrition mission aims to achieve a reduction in stunning from 38% present to what percent by 2022 it is 25% portion avian also known as national nutrition mission was launched in 2018 although it started in 2017 the implementation to tackle the malnutrition problem in india which of the following statement about pmf me formalization of micro food processing enterprises is not which is not true so government schemes i have taken few here but please revise all for your exam which of the following is not true 50% central assistance for ut without legislature this is not true the scheme has been launched in june last year it's a part of the atmanirbhar bharat abhiyan please understand all important schemes under atmanirbhar bharat because last year that is the most significant thing It is a centrally sponsored scheme. The share of expenditure under PM FME is 60-40 between central government and state government, and UT is with the legislature. 90-10 between central and north eastern and Himalayan states. 100% central stand for UT without legislature. Now match this following: a theoretical based question. If you understand what is CDO, FPO, debenture, OTC market, you have to match these. CDO are collateralized debt obligations. and fpo is follow on public offer you must have read these terms the correct answer is for collateralized debt obligation is about pooled cash flows sold to investors so what happens lot of cash flows so that becomes the collateral the cash flows becomes the collateral asset generating cash flows and they are repackaged sold to the investors follow on public offer is when an existing listed company sells its shares again that's why it is called follow on so ipo is first time then afterwards it is called follow on public offer debenture is a type of debt instrument that is not secured by any physical asset or collateral and otc market is over the counter market exchange are made between two parties without without any actually formal exchange in between so you and me buying and selling something is over the counter market but if you and me buying selling something through nsc in between nsc becomes the exchange or bsc or any any bank or some entity in between exchange in between then it is exchange traded 
So OTC and exchange traded are two differentiation here. This book, The Wealth of Nation, is written by very very popular book. And why I have asked this here? It is written by Keynes because this word animal spirit and this is the question asked last year. Again, see our finance minister Sita Raman. She ex she said this word recently that corporate has to come out with animal spirit for growth in the economy. Keynes used this word animal spirit. As per the RBI guideline, by which date all banks will have to ensure that their branch participate in image-based CTS check truncation system. The date is September 2021, which is CTS is already present in most of the clearing houses in the country. Now RBI is giving a date that by 30th September all branches have to participate in this. This do point analysis, this question also have been asked earlier in RBI. I remember that. And otherwise also you have to know this, what the do point analysis tells. So the do point analysis tells you that ROE, return on equity, depends on three things. Profit margin, asset turnover and equity multiplier. If you have more profit margin, if your asset turnover ratio is higher, if your equity multiplier is higher, your return on equity will increase. So all these are ways to increase your equity. Which of the following is not identified nor in the Johari window is a situation that can occur as a result of the interpersonal communication style. So Johari window is about that. Let me show you. It is more like a window. So on one side, how much known to self, how much I know about me and not known to self. There are things which I don't know about me. There are things which are known to others about me. There are things which are not known to others also. So the thing which is known to me and known to others both is open area. And the things which are known to others but not known to me is my blind spot. Because others can see it, I cannot see. I have a blind on that. And the things which others cannot see but I know about myself is my hidden area of facade. And unknown is not known to both parties. The correct answer here is therefore conflict. Wish you all the best for your exam. Be confident when you enter in the exam hall. Keep your mind calm and composed. Whatever best you have learned during all this time, then you will be able to produce that in the exam by using techniques like option elimination, by writing the best answer, best descriptive answer which is 50% of your exam. Also managing your time appropriately giving your best. Best of luck from exam B team. Now your time to perform.